Brendan, uh, your last name is Dassey, D A S S E Y. Minnesota's R. What's your middle name? My middle name? Yeah. Ray. Okay, and you live at uh, 12930 Avery Road, number A, Tours, Wisconsin. Your date of birth is 10 19 of 89. So you just turned 16 years old? Okay. You understand you're not an arrest, you're free leaving any time. And, you know, just want to ask some questions concerning what. We talked to everybody else, but we haven't talked to you two. Okay? Last Monday, now you live with your mom, Barb, right? Barb is Steve's sister, Chuck's sister, and, and uh, Earl's sister, right? Last Monday, do you remember seeing this girl at all? I was at school. You were at school until 3 o'clock? And the bus ride is 45 minutes. Okay. After school, you come home. Did you see Steve at all? Mm -hmm. Do you know where what he was doing or where he was or anything like that? He was working. Where was he working? So he was down at the garage or shed, or do you know that for sure? Or do you? Because he tells us he was in this house. Well, he went down there to get some cords for his mom. Some what? Some cords for the TV. Okay, on Monday. Tell me about that. Well, what's the story behind that? Because he gave, he was getting a new TV with uh, Direct TV, and he gave her his old one. So. Uh, he went back because he forgot the cords for it, and he gave it to her. And this was on Monday? That's what I think. Okay, Halloween is Monday, remember that? So knowing that it was Halloween, does that help you at all? So you're not certain if it was Monday? Have they talked about, I mean, have you guys talked about this whole thing at all as far as what you think might have happened? What do you think happened? You ever see this girl before? I just knew about it on Thursday because my mom called me and told me to turn on channel 11. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see her vehicle though? Mm -hmm. Never from before or even now or anything like that? So you know nothing about this at all? Do you know about that van that your mom was trying to sell? Who was trying to sell that, your mom or Steve? Mom. How does she do that? Do you, are you familiar with how she does that? Do you know if, uh, were there any problems that you know of down in the yard where somebody might have been back there some night last week? Just when we seen them, high, them uh, headlights and them taillights. Who saw headlights and taillights? Well, Steven seen taillights uh, Thursday night, and they turned back and he went to go see if they were still there, and they weren't. And Friday when me and Chucky were leaving to come up here, he seen headlights by his house. So you guys called down the... Steve? Did, did Chuck get a hold of Steve right away or no? Mm -hmm. So right as soon as he called me, how many times did he call him? Once. And then did Steve call back? Mm -hmm. How soon after Chuck called him did Steve call back? Oh, ten minutes. Okay, and what, what did Steve tell him, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, where, where were the, where did you see the headlights that night? I thought you came up with Chuck. Yes, I, was, I came up with him, but he seen him. He seen him. You didn't. You never seen him. Okay. And this, did he tell you about where they were, over by the compactor? He just called Steve and said, "Hey, there's headlights back." He didn't say where. Well, he got out. With him. Okay, where were you about? Like a little past the mailbox. So which, I'm not positive on the layout. What is that? Uh, Chuck's house is up in the top, in the front, or on Avery Road there. Yeah, you just go straight. If you keep going straight past yeah. there, down towards where the compactor is and yeah. stuff. So he went over there, didn't see anything. Okay. <clears throat> then he called Steve. Told Steve to go check on it. I didn't hear. You. What did he tell Steve to do? To go check down there. Okay. Do you know of anybody that was target practicing down at the uh, pit at all? On rabbits, that's it. When was that? Uh, I don't know what day, but Earl and his uh, friend was down there hunting for rabbits. Last week? 
Sure. He was like Thursday or Wednesday. Who was his friend? Bob Fabian. Did you see them down there hunting, or you just heard that they were down there hunting? I just So they were down in the yard hunting for rabbits. What about a car deer? Uh, one of the deer that was out hit by a car? Yeah, my brother cleaned it. Okay, so someone hit it. We don't know who This brother? It. No, Bobby. Bobby? And then that deer, was that cleaned someplace? Where was that cleaned out at? Right where it was hit. So it was gutted out there? And then where was it brought to? I don't know. That's all I heard. Okay, so it wasn't done in your garage, was it? You don't, or you don't know. Okay. Does Bobby live with you? At your mom's house? You didn't see the deer in the... You didn't, it's not in the freezer or nothing? We were going on the highway. Come up here. And Stephen was... Or, uh, Chucky was listening to the monitor. And he heard about it. He was going to call for it, but... Four six traffic. Uh, sorry, I can't see him. One, two, three, John. All right. Edward, so that, when was it that the deer was hit? Friday. Friday it was? Okay. So Friday, you were on your way up, so you wouldn't have seen the deer? Okay. Have you talked to your mom at all? You haven't talked to your other brother? Bobby. Since you've been up here? Did Bobby ever say anything about seeing her that Monday? No? What happened to your nose, man? I got scratched by a dog. What dog? My brother is Bobby. A little black one. A little black one? A mutt? No. Yeah. Um, when did that happen? Obviously, you've been hearing what's going on, huh? What's anybody saying at your place? Okay. How do you think that car got there? Someone planted it, you think? Or is that what they're thinking? That's what everybody's thinking. That's what everybody's thinking? Everybody in the family? That was your mom's van. Did your mom know about? Was she the one who wanted to sell that? So she told your uncle Steve she wanted to sell it. And what did he say to her? I'll I'll take care of it or? Yeah. Because she had to work on Monday, so Steve said he'd take care of it for her. Now did she call Auto Trader or was did Steve? You don't know? Alright. You didn't, uh... What time did you get home from school on, uh, Monday? 3.45. 3.45. And you remember Monday quite well? Why do you remember it? Just because you didn't know what you did on Monday? After school? What were you playing? PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2? You got a particular game you like? Um, well, Blaine just bought one. And it's called American Chopper. Who's Blaine? My other brother did. Uh, oh, your fourth brother. How old is he? Not older. He's a little older than me. Okay, so you're about the same age? Um, so Blaine just bought a new game on Monday, 
Was it? Sometime this weekend. This week. This sometime during the week. But you don't remember if it was Monday or not. Okay. So you don't really recall what you did on Monday. You just know you got home from school on 3:45. Do you remember? Did you have dinner up by your grandma? She had dinner that night or something? No. But did your grandma have people over for dinner that night? Not your not your family, but not your uncle either. Your grandpa wasn't home last Monday? Okay, so he pretty much is up here all the time. Why did you guys decide to come up, Mark? Well, I was hoping Chucky. What's he doing? Getting wood. Getting uh, firewood? So you guys are going to cut wood this weekend? Alright. You work at the auto salvage at all? You don't? Well, I worked there a little bit, but that was just to get some wood to figure out. Because we were going to have a bonfire on Thursday. You were going to have a bonfire on Thursday? On this past Thursday. Or on this Thursday coming up. This Thursday was last week. Last week Thursday you are going to have a bonfire? We are going to invite some friends from school. Did you have that bonfire? Why not? Because my mom was pissed off that year. Why? Because he said that we were going to graduate from school and there were going to be failures. Okay. When did he say that? Tuesday. Tuesday he said that to her? Why did he, why did they get in that fight? You don't know? You don't know what started it? Do you like your uncle? Yeah. Steven? Well why would he say something like that about you? So, your aunt, or your mom, was pissed off at Steven for saying that on Tuesday, so you guys couldn't have a bonfire on Thursday? Yeah. Why? He, she wouldn't let us see him for her. And then she went up there to settle it, and then on Thursday night, and then we weren't going to have the bonfire. She, what do you mean by she went up there to settle it? I guess I still don't understand. What were they settling? That's all I know. That's all you know is that they, she went up there to settle something? To his house? And she wouldn't allow you to have the bonfire. And your mom doesn't know anything about this woman either? Didn't hear anything about her? Been missing? I mean, you guys obviously heard about it on TV before they found your vehicle. Did they, when did they find the vehicle? Friday or Saturday. And you, but you heard about it on TV on Thursday? Okay. She was missing. Right. Did you, was your uncle on the TV when you watched it? When you found out about her missing? No. So what'd they say about that? I'll just catch you up to speed. They were going to have, where were you? You said you were working up by the sheds or something to get wood for a bonfire on Thursday? Um, but her, his mom wouldn't let him have a bonfire Thursday night because Stephen pissed her off by telling her 
or they got in some kind of fight, right? She wants to settle it on Thursday with Steven, and she wouldn't allow them to have a bonfire. Point. We get some kind of memo that if it's in the inside, it's supposed to have the battery disconnected. That's what we have to do or not. Yeah. I wouldn't. Glove up, that's all. Yeah. Before he uh, lets it totally loose, give it a high high look. Give it a high look underneath. Make sure there's no parts under. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to crawl under it. <laughs> yeah. So there was an argument between Steve and Grandma? No, mom? Steve and Mom. Your mom? Mm hmm On Thursday? No. This was Tuesday, right? Yeah. What was your argument about, do you know? I thought you said it was because you wouldn't amount to anything. Or is that just part of it? What? When they were arguing, Stephen brought up that me and Blaine were going to graduate for school. Okay. You don't know what they were arguing about? Did your mind never said? Did it involve you guys, or did it involve Steve and your mom only? Hey, Tom, Jim. Any, uh... And they said you couldn't have a bonfire on Tuesday? Thursday. Thursday. Where were you going to hold the bonfire? Back Steve's back here? Does Steve ever drive the, uh, or do you guys ever drive the golf cart? Grandma's golf cart? You never drive it? She won't let you drive it? Does anybody else ever get to drive it? Yeah, right. She drives it, but does anybody else drive it? Never seen anybody else take it anywhere? do is just take you guys back to the cabin, okay? How, who, how old's your other brother here? 20. It's 20. Does he live at home yet? Who, who was home at your house on Monday? Just Bobby. Just Bobby was home? And what, how long was he home? Three. Three? Bow hunting or goose hunting? Something? With what? With his friend. With his friend? What's his friend's name? Mike Osmondson. Mike Osmondson. Um, did he say anything about seeing this gal? Does Mike work? He does? Where does he work? Or not Mike, your brother. Bobby. Take the bus to school? Where does it drop you off? Yeah, On the road? You get dropped off from school on Monday. You walk down the driveway to go home, right? Was that green Toyota vehicle by your house? You're sure? Okay. So, Bobby's at home? What what hours does he work? Oh, so he doesn't usually wake up until the afternoon or something? So when he wakes up, he gets ready to go goose hunting at 3? He, so, he told you he went at 3 or did you see him go? Oh no, you were at school yet. He told you he went at three? He always does it every day. 
every day he goes at 3 o'clock do something? Did he get any geese that night? No. So him and the same guy go goose hunting every third or every night? And Mike's brothers. Mike. Oh, and Mike's brothers? Okay. And he seen our vehicle there when he left, he said? You don't know? It's not too often that somebody's standing by your house, by the field, taking pictures of the van. You got dropped off from school. How many other people are in that school bus? So 50, 60. Plus the school bus driver, right? When you're dropped off, it's such an event that someone's standing in your field taking a picture of that van. That you remember that too, don't you? Bus driver remembers it. Kids on the school bus remember it. The girl taking pictures. You remember that? Well, I wasn't looking. Huh? I wasn't looking in the field. You'd get off that bus and start walking towards your house. Well, sometimes I'm talking to plane. Yeah. You remember that girl taking that picture? You're getting off the bus. It's a beautiful day. It's daylight. And everybody sees it. You do too. Do you remember seeing that girl standing there taking picture? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You do know, don't you? Brandon. You're not going to disappoint any of us. Think about that girl. Was that girl standing there taking a picture that day? Uh, it's either yes or no. I mean, I'm not putting nothing in your mind. You tell me if you remember that girl standing there taking a picture. Yeah. Was she? Huh? Why won't you tell me? I was just trying to think of if I'd seen her. Well, did you see her standing there taking a picture? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that? You scared? Huh? Why are you scared about the same that that girl took that picture? Now, did you see her standing there taking a picture when you got that bus? Okay. What day was that? Monday. What time did you get off the bus? 10.45. What was she taking a picture of? The van. Was her vehicle there too? What happened to that girl? She left. She didn't leave. What happened to that girl? Five minutes, then she left. No, that's what you're being told to say. Brenna. What happened to that girl? I don't know. That's all I know. Brenna. What happened to the girl, Brenna? Do you think he did it? Why don't what I... happened to the girl? We don't... I don't know. That's all I know. So you get off the bus, you walk down the driveway. She's still there, right? You see her, don't you? Yeah. Who else is out with you? Blaine. Who else? Who's out with her? Steven. And what's he doing? Talking to her. Saying how much he wants to support her. How much what? How much money he wants to Okay. Did you guys stop and talk to her too? No, we just went in our house. And did Steve stay there with her? For a little bit, then she left. Now, is that what you saw or is that what you're being told to say? That's what I saw. She went to, out the driveway and then she turned left. You just asked me a question, Brandon. You think he did it? No, you just asked me that question. Why would you ask me that? Did what? That he raped her? Did she go into his house, Brandon? No. Did she go into your house? 
Brown. Did she go into your house? Where is she? Brandon, you're not telling me something. She never came into our house. Okay. Where is she? Brandon. Listen. This girl's got a family, okay? They're really concerned. Did something happen that shouldn't have happened? Well, why are you lying to me about that? I ain't. What do you mean you ain't? I don't know where she is right now. Or maybe she ran off with her friends. Why is her vehicle on your land? someone put it there. Like my yeah. family member trying to get Steven in trouble. Like another family member? Or probably the old police officer. Whose fingerprints you think we're going to find in that van? Or in that truck of hers? Your fingerprints going to be in there? Blaine? Who's there? You never went near a car? Brandon. Now you just told me that a family member might have put that truck there to frame Steven. Her family. Why in the hell would her family do that? Because he might get like thirty-six million dollars for. Why would her family care about that? Maybe it was a setup. Let's back up a little bit. We were asking you about that school bus. Why, in your mind, did you not want to tell us about seeing her? Let's t let's start with that. Why did you not want to tell us that? Because I had to think about it if I seen her or not. Because it was like a week ago and I got bad memory. Okay, but that Monday you're telling us that you saw her when you got off the school bus. And you and Blaine talked about that too, right? Yeah. What did you guys say when you talked about it? We were going to... We after they were done, we were going to go see how much Steven was going to sell it for. But we were saying that we were going to leave him alone in that. Why were you going to leave him alone? Brandon. Okay. You just tell the truth, okay? Yeah. I'm going to talk to Blaine, too. Don't worry about that. That truck did not leave that place. It did not go out the driveway and take a left. Brandon, what happened? I was saying that, that's what happened. How soon after you got off the bus did that vehicle leave? Five minutes. It takes us like five minutes to walk down the road. So when you're walking down the road, is she leaving? Yeah. Alright, well when you're in the house, does she leave? So you had to walk on the side of the road so she could pass by you. And you're absolutely sure she was driving that truck? You just got done telling us, Brandon, that she was all taking pictures when you got there. Yeah, that's what we seen. No, 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 no. When you got to your house, you went in and she still didn't leave for five minutes, you said. That's what you said. Now you're saying she was driving out when you were walking in. Brandon, I know you're scared, okay? I understand that, alright? 
I'm gonna try to help you, okay? Yeah, what takes Steven away from me? No. Like 18 years again? No. Okay. I don't want that to happen, but I gotta know the truth. It is the truth. Bottom line is, we don't want that to happen, and that's why we gotta do this thoroughly, and you can't hide things, okay? Because if things don't make sense, we can't stop our investigation. You understand that? And what you're telling us isn't making sense. And I don't want you to get caught up in something that you don't deserve to be caught up in, okay? You're a young man. you got a long life ahead of you, okay? And I understand that maybe you don't trust the police, okay? But I'm here to tell you, I don't want to get things wrong, okay? We're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. You understand? Yeah, but everybody thinks that Stephen was the last person that she's seen. I don't... No. We're assuming that she was the last... That was the last person that she was scheduled... She was scheduled to go see other people after him, and she never made it to those other ones. Okay? I heard that someone said that she went to Green Bay to see no. someone. That was her next scheduled stop, and she never made it that far. Okay? And now there's a truck on your land. Okay? So that's why we, we got to know exactly what you've seen. Okay? And nobody's saying that Stephen did this. Okay? Nobody's saying that. But to get beyond Stephen, we have to know the truth, okay? So why don't you tell me what happened to her? I don't know what happened to her. Okay, tell me. Tell me what you know. I know that I came home from school. I seen her there. Walked in the homeless. Five minutes later, she left. That's it. Brandon, I know you're still not telling me the truth. Because I know you you look all choked up to me. Just because I'm sweating. You got, are you warm? No, you look like you're... want to tell me something else. Like what? Like the truth. That's all I want from you, man. I think you do. Why don't you tell me? I don't know where she is. I think you know what happened. I think you have an idea what happened. Who's Blaine? Blaine's the brother. Brother. Blaine or Brian? Which one's he? The brother he walked in with. Yeah. You got Bobby? Brian, Blaine. Brian, Blaine, and you. So there's five brothers all together. Yeah. Where's Blaine at today? Uh, with his boss. Huh? With his boss working. Where does he work? He's a landscaper. Where? Uh, by uh, Lake Michigan there. He's a landscaper, works for a landscaper by Lake Michigan? Close to that, yeah. Do you know what the guy's name is that he works for? Mike Cronelli. Who? Mike Cronelli. Mike Cronelli? Okay, he works for a Mike Cronelli landscaping and there's probably... Okay. Okay. Is that girl alive, Brian? I hope she is. Is she? Yeah, you do know Brown. 
Were you involved in this? You sure? Who was? Brandon. This is gonna play itself out, man. You said something about someone moving from one trailer to another. Who's moving? Steven. Where's he moving from and to? Well, he was gonna clean out some cars right where we live, and he was gonna put it the house right there. What's that now? The house. He was gonna put the trailer right by where we live. He was gonna clean some cars out right where Avery Auto Salvage is there. Okay. He was gonna put it right there. Did he start doing some work down there to make that happen? Is there another trailer there? Well, there's one there he's gonna... Huh? He might get rid of it and get a different one, but... Okay, so not that he's moving from one trailer into another one. Mm -hmm. Just one location to another location. Yeah. Okay. He didn't do any improvement, like dig it up or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, no, no big deal. Why don't you tell me what you know? That's all I know. Do you understand the severity of this? Do you understand how serious this is? Yeah. How do you know I felt when Steven was in jail? I felt bad for him. Yes, I know. You probably did. No, you don't. Not quite. Because you know where Stephen was. They don't know where their daughter is. They don't know where their sister is. I don't either. They want to know. I told you where I think I, she is. Where? No, you didn't. I told you where she might be with her friends or whatever. She ain't with her friends. Every one of her friends have been contacted. Anybody who's ever talked to her has been contacted because they're trying to find her. Yeah. Brandon. You know, mistakes happen. Bad things happen sometimes. You understand that? Sometimes it doesn't, people don't mean to make mistakes, but they do. Okay? The only way to make your mistakes right is by telling the truth. Okay? Now, this isn't going to go away. Understand that? It's not going to go away. Okay, this is just the beginning. Why don't you tell me what you know? Tell me what you do know. Tell it to me again. We came home from school. Came, we went and almost five minutes later she left. How do you know she left? Because I was watching. You were watching her? Yeah, because the plane was there and he was said to wait until he's done and she leaves. Go over there and talk to him. Why didn't you go and talk to him? She went into his house, didn't she? Where'd they go? She left and he went in the house. She didn't leave. Brandon, she didn't leave. Where did she go? Mm -hmm. You do know, Brand. You watched her. It's okay to be scared. Nobody has to know what we talk about. 
Okay. Yeah, I told you what I know. You still don't believe me. That's because you're not telling me everything I don't believe. That's all I know, though. No, it's not all you know. You know something a little more, and you're just not going to tell me. Bobby, home when you get home Monday? Not usually. When that lady was taking pictures, was Bobby home when you got home? Okay. He goes goose hunting at 3 o'clock every day. That's, that's right. Now you're at home. And you're watching her out the window. Talk to your uncle. And you were going to go over there after she left. But I didn't want to. I wanted to play games. You and your brother both sat there and looked out the window at her and waited for her to leave so you could go in and see how much she asked for that truck. But then all of a sudden, once she leaves, then... You don't feel like going over there anymore? You wanted to leave them alone. What does that mean, Brandon? I wanted to leave them alone. You said them. You said them. Why did you want to leave him alone? What do you mean you thought he was tired? Brandon, she went into that trailer, didn't she? And that still doesn't mean anything, okay? Spencer, do you understand that? That doesn't mean anything. All that means is that she went into that trailer. That doesn't mean anything. Okay? Did she go into that trailer? Where did she go? She didn't leave, Brenna. Brenna, her truck's on your property. She didn't leave. Someone could have planted it. She didn't leave your property. Brandon, you weren't telling us the truth about coming off that bus and seeing her that day. There's a reason for that. Are you telling us the truth now? Why should we believe you? Why did you not tell us the truth from the beginning? Why would we lock you up? Did you do it? Do you know who did it? Do you think that uh, her family's missing her? Think we'd want to find her? Yeah. Think she's cold? I would help too if I wanted to find her. Do you think she's cold? Huh? Think she's cold? Yeah. I think we should bring her back to her mom. What do you think? Yeah. You gonna help us? Where's she at? Let's bring her home. Let's bring her home. No more games. No, you're a man. You're right, Brandon. This ain't a game. But you know what? There's a girl there. Okay. But she's cold, she's scared, she don't know where she is. Okay? And she's got people who love her that are looking for her right now. You understand that? Yeah. And they want her back. Whatever well, let's way do the is. right thing. Let's do the right thing and give her back to her parents. Where she belongs, okay?
Where was she? Did you help put that truck back there? Did you help cover it up? Steve, put that truck back there? You, you were said you were afraid because you thought we'd lock you up, right? What do you think the best thing to do here is to tell the truth? Or you just don't know? Can you take a ride by the pharmacy? I'm attempting to get information from you, so I'll call her, but I believe you may have had juvenile studies. Have you seen a picture of her? Yeah. Okay, you've seen her that day, right? Now, there's something out. People don't need that, that. That don't know. Okay. Okay. She needs medicines on a daily basis. Okay. And we want to know if she needs to get that medicine. Okay. We want to get her the help she needs. She's not here anymore. We want to get her back to her parents. Man. Why don't you help us do that? What do I have to do? You get to help us. I told you whatever I know. No, no, no. You started this conversation out with lies. You still haven't... You, you, you come clean so far, up to this point. I know you know more. I can see it in your eyes. That's because you're watering you. Yeah. That's because you feel bad. And you should. Has anybody told you to lie to us? Has anybody told you not to tell us about you seeing her when you got the school bus? Why did you make it up in your own mind not to tell us that? I think your mom's fight with Stephen probably was something to do with this. Why did you guys come up here this weekend? Brandon, were you involved in this? Anybody you know involved in this? Why don't you tell me what you've seen that day? Three thirty every day that bus comes and drops you off. Three forty five. Three forty five you bus pulls up, you and your brother Blaine get off the bus. What do you see? Where is she at? And who's with her? How long of a walk is it from your, where you get off the bus to uh, where the van is? Five minutes. Okay, so you're walking up there, right? When you get up there to where you're going, you're going to your house? Is she there still? Yeah. Okay. You go right inside your house right away or you stay there? Yeah. You guys keep an eye on them, right? What are they doing? Okay. And she leaves in it. When he hands her the papers for the van, where are they? Standing outside? Is she in her vehicle? Standing outside. Okay. Do you ever see Stephen go up by your vehicle? Mm. And you said you saw her leave. From where? From inside your house? From where? Inside of the van. Where were you standing? So you see her leave. Where are you at when you see her leave? By the seat getting a drink. Okay, so you look out the window and you see her leave. Before you told us you were walking down the driveway. And you had to actually leave from the driveway towards the grass so she could go by you. Right? Why did you tell us that? 
Do you understand where I'm coming from? What's the real story here? Huh? Okay. So why'd you not tell us the truth about when you saw her leaving? Okay. Let's get beyond being scared. Let's get beyond the idea of you getting in trouble and going to jail because it's not going to happen, okay? Tell us anything more. Did you actually see her leave or did she stay there? Where was the van parked? Just how far from your house? Okay, so the van's parked in your yard, basically. And she's out there with Steve. Where was her truck parked? Draw me a picture of where your house is, where the school bus dropped you off, where Stephen's house is, and where she was when you seen her. She was right there. The van was like right there, and there's some trees like right here. Okay. And there's her driveway, and the bus drops us off right here. Whose house is this? Where's Steven's house? Okay. So, her and Steven are where? Okay, and that's where your van is. Where do you walk? Okay. Close enough to hear them talking? Okay, you went in the house? Yeah? Okay. And you're in there about five minutes? One yard from your house? This is one yard, three feet. Did she come in your house at all? Did she talk to you at all? She never said one thing to you? She's seen us, but that's it. She's seen you, but she didn't say anything. Okay. So she's out there for five minutes talking to Steve. Then what? And she walks over here. And she drives. Oh. Was Steve in the van with her? Or in the car? Steve didn't go with her. Did Steve come over by you after she left? Did you stay in your mom's house the whole time then after he left? Steve did not come over by you? So when she left and you're watching her leave, Steve did not come over by you. How long did you stay in your house after she left? You're playing games, you said, or something, right? How long do you think you were staying at the house? So that Monday after she left, when you stayed at the house playing games for two hours, Steve did not come over. Mm -hmm. Did you see Steve at all the rest of that day? Yeah. Where at? In my house. He came over and he needed some help to push off the Jeep into his garage because he was fixing it for Grandpa. What time was that? Well, it was seven or eight. How'd you help push him in? Push that? Where do you have to go get that Jeep to bring it up by the garage? Right by the garage. It was always there? Okay. Okay. Brandon, let's get back to... You were going to wait and... 
watching and you were waiting for her to leave so you could go and see how much your uncle wanted for that vehicle, right? Yeah, because he said before that he was going to give it to us to fix it up for us and so we can drive it to school. So he decided that it was too bad of a shape and he was going to sell it. Okay, so you want to know how much he wanted for it. Was that what the fight was about between your mom and him? Was that you were he was supposed to fix it up for you guys? He decided he was going to sell it instead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you didn't go over to talk to your uncle to see how much it was worth or wh how much you wanted. Because why? You were going to leave him. You were gonna leave him alone. You're gonna leave him alone for something. You feel guilty right now? That you didn't help that girl? Is that what the problem is? I think it is, because you're a good kid. Well, I've been talking to you for quite a while now. And I could see in your eyes that you feel terrible about something. I think that you might have wanted to help her, and you just didn't know how to do it or what to do. It's not your fault. But now you can do the right thing. You can help us find her, okay? Okay, but you can give us an idea of what happened to her. Right, Brown? I'm going to talk to him outside for a second. I'll keep right back. to somebody, okay, this is Kim Skrulinski. Hi. He investigates for the state of Wisconsin, okay. Um, I just wanted to introduce you to him and have, him tell you, and have you tell him what you told us so far. What 
the Jeep look like? Great. Like a box car. Hard top. Okay. Um, you did say, however, that you want, you came home from school, right? Okay. She was, why don't you hand me that drawing you made for me? You walked, you got dropped off here, right? Okay. That's your uncle's house, that's your grandma's house? You walked down the road, and then you walked into your driveway, and into the house. She was right here. Her car was here, and your uncle was with her. You went in the house, and you were by the sink, by the window, and you watched her for five minutes, because you were waiting to see your uncle, Stephen, when she left, you were ready to go and see how much the van, how much he was going to charge for the van, right? You say she leaves in her vehicle, right? And then you decided not to go and bother your uncle because you thought he was tired, right? Right? Yes? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, on an hour, you decide you don't want to bother your uncle because you think you might be tired? He was gonna, I was going to wait and see if anybody wanted it because my mom wanted to eat it money. She was done. But now you think that maybe someone picked her up and hit her with an axe? That one person that's on TV. The person that's on TV might have picked her up somewhere and hit her with an axe in the head? That's pretty coincidental, don't you think? Hmm? What person on TV? Oh, oh there's a guy in Manor to like that. Huh? Hit his girlfriend. Yeah, living girlfriend, 35 year old female Manitowoc. Yeah, told her to finish city of Manitowoc. Except the only problem there, Stephen, is the guy who hit his girlfriend with the axe. That didn't happen until just Friday. All this stuff took place on Monday, right? All this stuff took place on Monday, right? The other stuff all took place on Friday. It did, I'm telling you. Okay? I'm not asking you. I'll tell Kim just the same way I'm telling you. Or I've been telling you. That I think you feel real bad, don't you? I think you know something probably happened to her, don't you? Just got done telling me you don't want her to be cold, and you thought she was going to be cold. Right? Now, you don't think you're a good kid, but I think you're being somewhat honest with us at least. I don't think you're being all the way honest. And I know you're scared. Because everybody in my family calls me lazy because I don't do nothing. Well, you go to school, don't you? My grades are bad, though. What do you like to do? That's something. Yeah, but they said that's a bad, bad idea. I told her that they make a lot of money. That's right. Do you know the name of this girl? I You didn't know her? Did you know it then? Teresa. Mm -hmm. Teresa is 25.
got a lot of family and a lot of friends that are really worried about her. You understand that, right? And they want her back. One way or the other. Okay. Understand that, don't you? Do you want to help us get her back? Why don't you do that? Here going Uncle Steve's house at all? You see them arguing? Fighting? Did she fall and get hurt maybe? Mm -hmm. After she left, did he come over by you? hours later. Not right away. Was Bobby home when you got home? Nobody was home when you got home? Just me and Blaine. You and Blaine, that's it. But you gotta understand, Brandon, okay? We don't want you to tell us anything that you didn't see, okay? If you've seen something, I want you to tell us because that doesn't necessarily mean that anybody's in trouble, okay? A lot of different things can happen to somebody. Could be an accident, could be a mistake. Something accidentally could have happened and somebody got nervous, okay? They got nervous and didn't think right away and decided to do something that they probably shouldn't have done. You understand what I'm saying? How do you know that? He told me that he may have touched her car, but that's it. We're leaning against it. What happened to that great Jeep that you helped him put in the garage? He's still fixing it. It's still in there. What happens if we find his prints inside the car? You think that's possible? No. Why do you think that's possible? I also think there might be one. Maybe it's that way that we know that too. What would happen if we were finding the prints though? It's not about prints right now, okay? So what I'm saying is, Accidents can happen, okay? Maybe she went inside of Stephen's house. I don't know. Maybe she did. Maybe she tripped and hit her head on something. And Stephen, being afraid to go back to prison or something, decides, oh, what am I going to say? You know? Things like that happen. Accidents happen. Okay, but we need to know everything about what happened so we can figure that out, okay? I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. We're just trying to get a girl back to her family, okay? That's it. And I think you're a good enough person to help us with that. What did you guys do when he came over two or three hours later? We helped him with a jeep into his garage. And then where did you have supper that night? Over by... At your house? Where did he have supper that night? Did he go to Grandma's house? No. Did he eat alone, do you know? 
Did you see him after supper? When's the next time you saw him? The next morning, because he drove up there and he talked to us a little bit. Before school? Okay. What did he say to you? That his blazer is going to be gone in a few days. Someone's going to buy it. Is his blazer still down there? Just wait. Okay, we're gonna bring it back. That's yours, right? Brandon, appreciate your help. Huh? Yeah, I know you're scared, okay? And I can appreciate it. Yeah, I understand that. What grade you in? Huh? What grade you in? Ninth? Ten. Ten. Your grades ain't that great, you said? Three Fs. Three Fs? Yeah. Well, that ain't too bad. Five nineteen minute? Be ten eight from that stop. We'll be ten five in the passenger back to the cab. Yeah, when you were standing in the kitchen by the sink? Yeah. Did, um, was Blaine standing there with you? No, he was watching TV. He was watching TV?
So you're the only one that stood by the window and watched. Friend? You're the only one that was standing by the window and watching? So pretty much you and Steve were the only ones who knew what happened there. Yeah. Okay. Does Steve know that? Five two three out of impact. Your uncle doesn't know if you were standing in the window or not? No, thank you. He doesn't know? Okay. You guys head to the star? Yeah, where are you getting? It's going up. Mountain Dew? Yeah. You tell your mom about what you seen that day? You haven't told anybody? Just us? Okay, well, we'll keep it between us. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Blaine 17? And he's working today, you said? Okay.